September 26, 2022. I'm heading over to Ensign. I'm going to be teaching about solving by elimination part three. And my university supervisor is going to observe two periods, periods two and three, and seeing how I effectively transition and modify if needed uh, from one to the other. Morning starting off, just make copies of my rubric. So the lessons yesterday went excellent. Of course, third better than second, but overall much better than Friday. And today, September 27th, all the teachers in the math department have substitutes because of a math department uh, meeting, training, whatever. So I'm going to have a substitute in here while I lecture on lesson 17, systems of linear equations and their solutions, and specifically infinitely many solutions and sorting between like no solution or parallel lines, infinitely many or one solution. September 28th, 2022, real quick, I got to sub today for the first time this academic year for my mentor teacher, little emergency happened, so I uh, took over the, like the last part of period three and also subbed for AVID periods four and seven, and that all turned out very great. It's September 29th, I'm over here in Ensign at 4 p.m. Why so late? It's because I'm involved in after school tutoring. This is the fourth session, the uh, my third time, and it's held at the library and I get to help tutor students. Well, actually I'm doing more supervising because we have a lot of student tutors here, a lot of whom I teach because they're in the classes that I teach and they're tutoring other students. So we have like everything math, science, history, English and such. So this is why I'm going to be doing Tuesdays and Thursdays for an hour uh, from three to four. So I really enjoy it. And I haven't said this before, but if anyone wanted to know, Locker 4087 was my locker for two years. So for two years I used this locker, but the school doesn't really use lockers anymore. I'm over back here at Vanguard University. I had to leave school early, and that's because I have a meeting that I didn't know about till yesterday, this mandatory meeting toward the middle of the semester, and um, a lot of the faculty and and professors and uh, grad ed department personnel are and are going to talk about how the semester is going and maybe some input that I have and just checking in and that's what I'm doing back here. I was actually here yesterday and that's when I found out that I had the meeting today. Well, I mean, they sent an email anyway that I would have uh, gotten, but um, I was here yesterday to pick up the swivel because I'm going to start um, filming for the Cal TPA cycle. Real great the near 40 minute uh, meeting a very wonderful insightful conversation it was me and three people and then two people on zoom so we were all in a meeting together and this just makes up my team so they just express that we are all a team including my mentor teacher who's at school so and again it's a very insightful conversation and I really enjoyed it uh, concluded with a prayer and uh, feeling ready to move forward and of course as always I'm up for the challenge and now I'm back over here heading down uh, to Ensign Intermediate because I have tutoring that I participate in and I help the students and everything. Uh, but yeah, again real quick, uh, who were there? Uh, my former professor who was the former director of Orange County Department of Education, uh, one of my professors, uh, my university supervisor, and a couple of other people were there. So again, it was just a wonderful team. I likened that to when I was in Royal Rangers. Uh, or because of Royal Rangers, I learned what team meant. Together, everyone achieves more. So anyway, that's kind of it. Uh, what I think when I think of team, I've been conveying that to other Royal Rangers and the class that I teach as well. Well, kind of a bit unrelated, but I'm over here at Mesa Church at Royal Rangers. This is week two. We started last Tuesday. And it was a conclusion to a very busy day from like 7 a.m. to like almost 8.30 p.m. and such because after I was done tutoring for an hour I had a, like a near two-hour seminar on Zoom for Vanguard and then I had to rush over here um, on the other side of town um, to uh, do Royal Rangers because I'm the head of Discovery Rangers and I do all the lesson plans and all the teaching for Discovery and it's very very fun. Uh, this is my 10th year as a commander, my 23rd year in Royal Rangers, so it's um, quite a blessing to be here, so I just thought I'd add this. And we're also by an airport too. Just something funny real quick, it's International Walk to School Day and there are a lot of people who are not walking but on their bikes, but yeah, some like me are walking 
partly, so I just thought I'd say that. And I just got out of a staff meeting, my first staff meeting since August, so it was very fun being um, over there and uh, gaining a lot of insights. So I'm over here at Lighthouse Community, and this is the first Wednesday night since August that I was able to come here. I'm a youth minister intern here, and Vanguard's classes are on Wednesday nights, but this time it was all asynchronous, long story short, so I got to come here. I actually ran into a couple of the uh, youth band musicians at Ensign because they go to Ensign, and uh, they usually, or at least one asks me, are you coming to youth tonight? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I have class. And when I told youth that in August that I have Wednesday night classes, everyone like booed to the but I planned for tonight that I'd be able to go back to youth for a week. And I ran into one of the students who does band here today with another person who does the band. And he asked me, am I coming tonight? And I'm like, you'll find out. So it's great to be back and it's probably be the last time till December, but I'm glad to be back. Okay, so I'm over here by the juice stuff. I'm just stopping over here trying the new pumpkin uh, season thing. So I always like trying new things. It's called the pumpkin brew. And again, just uh, my stop from school to home for about an hour and a half and then to where I volunteer at at Lighthouse down the street. Tonight I'm back over here at Lighthouse Community because I have band rehearsals since I'm also a volunteer musician at the same time. To clarify, I play the keys. Day that I began filming for the Cal TPA Cycle 2 and it's the first of I believe six recordings I need to make and then submit to the CTC uh, for uh, credentialing and all that so um, today was a big day in fact I'm I'm making a video in and of itself just about the Cal TPA Cycle 2 and my journey through that so I'll link into the card above once it's ready um, so I plan to do that I already started filming that like a few days ago so um, look forward to that if you're interested Today, Saturday, October 8th, 2022, I'm over back here at Vanguard University taking a first day CPR course and I'm halfway done. It's seven hours and I just completed the first half. I'm now recertified in CPR, AD, choking, child, infant, and um, adult. And um, I've been counting and I'm thinking this is pro at least number six for me. I, my first certification was back in 2012 and I got certified at least six times, including today. So uh, and this is a requirement to be a teacher. There were other teaching candidates there. I'll be coming back in an hour for the latter half and it should be a very good day. And as always, thank you very much for sticking with me in this journey. I hope that it's enjoyable and also um, some form of motivation that everyone can do what they set their mind to do despite a disability and that it's just overall a fun journey.